What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just ordered myself from Amazon this Sharpalin bracelet charging data cable. Uh, and it's a four pack, eight inches, mini short flat bracelet charging data cable. And it should be for a lightning cable. And the reason I got this is because, um, you know, one of the things that I noticed is that I don't usually have a charging cable for my iPhone. And I really wanted just a really short USB to lightning cable to actually attach to my keychain. Uh, that wouldn't create a lot of noise necessarily look like a charging cable so that if I ever ran out of juice um, And there was a laptop nearby I could plug my phone or even my iPad presumably into um, A USB port to get a little extra juice, you know I, I do like carrying spare batteries with me, but sometimes you just don't have that But I always usually have my keys and so to have something like this um, that I could hang off my key ring without it looking like I'm a tech nerd or something like that I thought might be interesting. So first of all, what this is supposed to be is like a bracelet. So you can see here, you know, honestly, obviously they're trying to kind of pitch it as, oh, it's an accessory. You're going to always wear this, you know, silicone bracelet. And I guess you could, there's like this little metal, you know, highlight, little steel band or something on this end. So you know, it's not highly reflective, but it's a little satin finish. So I guess it would look kind of fashionable and then the the plug end has a little bit of a checkerboarding pattern so there's a little pattern and then it does kind of have this flat you know eight inch silicone based cable here now I'm never gonna do that and first of all I also want to kind of pull it apart here you just pull these two ends apart you can see how they fit in here so this absolutely is the lightning cable but what you can see is that the lightning cable plugs in there and then these two pieces kind of clamshell together right and what you end up having here wow well, once i pulled it apart once it doesn't really stick together that well it was kind of stuck together pretty well to begin with but there's a little tab right there you can see it a little detent and that's supposed to fit into this little recess there the little hole to kind of lock it in place and i'm kind of pushing them together and I guess it does hold together, but you can see how little force I can put on it to, to break them apart. So even if I were to put this on as a bracelet, which I would never do, I'm not even sure, even though it's an eight inch cable, will it even fit around my, my wrist? I guess it will. I mean, barely. Um, but I can tell you what, bracelets aren't my thing. So it does fit. Yeah, I guess you could do that if you want to wear it. Um, I would, my plan would just to be to pry this thing off and it looks like you're gonna have to pry it off it, it'd be a little hard to get the cable out of there oops i'm gonna tear it if i do that but as you can see this tab then would fit into a usb port on a laptop or on a charging block or something like that and then you could plug this end into your iphone uh, or other ios device and charge it up now another thing is when you get these kinds of cables hopefully they're certified and they work and everything that's going to be the first thing to try so let's go ahead and try to plug in an iphone or an ios device and see if it'll charge off this thing big question does this thing work plug that usb side into the outlet there and then we'll plug the lightning cable in boom look at that it's charging so at least one of my concerns that it would uh, not actually really work or charge an iPhone. I have been unfounded. It is working indeed. So there you have it. Uh, you can coil this thing back up, wear it like a bracelet if that's what you want to do. But in my case, I'm going to coil it back up, remove this metal thing, and just attach it to my key ring. Peter Von Panda with my bracelet charging cable.